Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Day one of lockdown. Uh, yeah, this will date this video completely. This is the first day that the UK was put on lockdown because of the coronavirus. This is it. Lovely. And I'm probably suffering. I'm snackered at the moment. Suffering from probably uh, vitamin D deficiency and probably developing scoliosis because of how I have to work from home and the fact that, well, I got to do it essentially from my own bed on a laptop. It's kind of gonna... I'm gonna have back problems by the end of this. Anyway, out of the way, let's, 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 let's do some more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. The reason I didn't go out before is because... Cutscene! Hey, you there, newbie! I hope it's this person. It is! Look! Look! It's him! He's back, finally! You got you, you gotta know who this guy is, come on! Don't tell me! You got his master, right? Uh, how do you know that? Cause you look like you you look just like my grabs did. I'm prick! You ain't no, you're not blue, mate, you prick. We know this. You prick. You said fool in Pokemon Green, and ever since you've had a Mr. T voice. Your, uh, your name is Prick. So he's Prick. I heard from my grams that two kids, two new kids set out from Pallet Town to become trainers. Just like I did once. So I came to check you out. Buy me dinner first? Oh wait, everything's shut now. Like seriously, everything. Yet pet shops are still open. Why? You can get pet food down at the supermarkets, which are also open. <sighs> I'm just trying to get used to it at the moment. I've been isolated for the last week. Anyway, <laughs> people are going to be looking back on this going, Oh yeah, I remember those times. <laughs> Unless we're still in it when this video goes up. I sure to God hope we're not. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym from an expert trainer like me. But looks like I showed up too late, huh? All I needed to do was for having, like, a third of my Pokemon learn the art of kick foo. That's all I needed. Seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie! Five great balls from definitely not blue. Nice. Cheers to that. Those will be even better for catching Pokemon than playing on Pokeballs. And hey, that thing you got there, that's a Pokedex, right? So Gramps finally went and made one. Okay, so this is going on a bit of a slightly different tangent because if Blue's already set out, then that means that he would have already got a Pokedex alongside Red. Alternate timeline, I guess. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. Oh, that explains it. There you go. You better do a good job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you and sure... He's an old cool, but he's still my Gramps. Smell you late, newbie. Go on. This game is ruined. This game is ruined. This game is ruined. Why? The walkout music weren't there. What was that? No walkout music. Why weren't there any walkout music? Hang on, future me, can you edit this and put the walkout music in while I say the following line? Ah, Pillars for the Game Walk with music! There you go, see how much better that was? Anyway, let's move on. So, we have, uh, we've met Prick. <laughs> he's still around, lovely. Still sounds like Mr. T, even though he's 10, but still, you know. Who knows, maybe he started like smoking when he was like four months old. Who knows. Anyway, we'll heal everyone up, because why not? And we're gonna be moving on to uh, Mount Moon now. Well, and the route full of trainers beforehand. Dee 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 dee. Nice. Okay. And hopefully we'll be catching some more new Pokemon. There are, I think, a couple on the route that we haven't got yet. So we'll, we'll certainly be kicking them in the face. Uh, do you know what? I'm actually going to bring Elvis. I'm going to bring Elvis up front. Because there's a lot of normal types inside this. Well, normal and bug mostly. 
So Elvis will probably be mostly alright there. Let's go up against Weedles and he's got to tackle them instead. You alright? Oh wow, that's a boulder badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? When you get new gym badges, more items become available to you in the Pokemart. By the way, the Pokemart is that blue building. I know. Pokemarts are in lots of towns. Though... So you will probably already knew that, huh? Is that bloody... You useless, you useless bastard! Actually, on honest note, you did say that uh, there were more items now in the Pokemarts. Which makes sense, but they've done it for generations since then. <laughs> It could have been easily understandable, but no, guy's a prat. There's a lass here, hello. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? No. Definitely not. Anyway, this is Lass Janice. She has got herself an ore dish. Oh, lovely. Got yourself an ore dish. Something that I can't actually beat very well. Actually, no, I've got Peck, haven't I? I've, I've still got Peck, so I can I can still do pretty decent damage to you. I mean, yeah, Peck's not amazing, but it's a move that can beat the bug and grass types of this area. So Elvis is pretty decent here. Let's see if Headbutt does more damage. No, I wouldn't think it does, but we did get the flinch. I'm not going to say that's what I was aiming for. I was hoping for the knockout, actually, so I didn't have to spend more of my power points, but... Still, I'll take it. Cheers for that, Elvis. And apparently I'm mean. Well, sod you! You accused me of looking at you all first. God's sakes, now you're looking at me. And you can look at my sweet ass walk away. Oh, you're new, trainer. Yeah, you're new as well. What the hell are you? I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I'm one of them. I will now randomly jump about and my legs will not move. Nintendo Switch, the just amazing, you know, for video game consoles, cutting edge. Let's just have the sprite just go up and down and not have him actually jump. Just have, just, just like, just like randomly, there's like a... A Marilyn Monroe fan below, but powerful enough to just make him float a bit. Ugh. Switch! I swear. I I don't care. This is better than Tetris. This is more enjoyable than Tetris 99. I don't care what you do to me here. But I just wanted to prep. I just want to say that. We coach trainers are strong, if I do say so myself. If you want to try out our strength, you should definitely battle with us. Well, first off. Nah, there's nothing in there. I will battle you! You look like someone who wants to try your own strength. Do you want to have a battle with me, a coach trainer? Yes. <laughs> I love that it didn't say yes, it's just battle! Seriously, like, they they have ripped that from bloody like Pokemon Bridge. They have. Can't wait for Brock to fall out the blimp! Can't wait for that. Or the whole sack bit. That would be an interesting episode. Okay, here I come. All right, so this is a new guy. I wonder if the, uh, the the guy with the shorts is here. All right, we have Coach Trainer Kareem. Kareem, we got a Bulbasaur. Please tell me that this Coach Trainer just doesn't have all the starters. No, actually, he's only got one Pokemon. Okay, so he's just got a Bulbasaur, level eleven. So it's pretty strong. It is pretty strong. We're actually doing about the same amount of damage, so I think I should probably move to Headbutt instead. Ooh, a Speed Tide as well! Oh, bollocks, right? <laughs> you bastard, you! Right, this ain't gonna work. Elvis isn't gonna beat Bulbasaur. Not at this rate. Because Leech Seed's on. So I'm gonna bring in... Oh, Callie, of course. Of course, Callie, right? You kidding me? Of course, it's going to be Cali. Um, so, yes. Leech Seed. Lovely move. Really good move. Restores your health and also damages your opponent every turn until they switch out. Since I've switched out, Leech Seed doesn't affect anymore. But it's a, it's a very decent move, actually, is Leech Seed. You know, it's, it's pretty decent. And he is spamming it, the bastard. 
I have not got a flinch yet in this battle. I'm kind of annoyed by that. I'm also annoyed about the fact that I keep giving him health. You're back in green! Get, get owned! Owned! Ooh, in red! Flinched! Screw you. All I need to do, I think, is uh, hit uh, a headbutt or a quick attack or something like that. Depends on how much health he gets from it. That's not much. I should be able to quick attack that to finish him off. I should. Quick attack! Yes! There you go. And the Bulbasaur is down! Uh, 70 experience, 58 experience, and nothing else. You are good! You had one Bulbasaur. That's it. Yes, it was an annoying Bulbasaur. It has bloody... It has bloody, bloody leech seed, but still. You defeat a coach trainer, just like that. In honor of your strength, I have a gift for you. He has given me a way to get my Pokemon to be not dead. A revive! Yay. Revives will heal a Pokemon that's been knocked out. Something that a potion can't do. It can do if you use a red candy on it, though. Because then it'll increase its all, all its primary stats and health goes up, which means it's no longer dead. Useful if you don't have any revives, but if you randomly have something rarer than that. Be sure to use them wisely. Them? How many did you give me? You gave me one? I don't even know. You, you gave me one! Them is not one, you gra you grammar prick. You bloody bad. How about you? Are you the shorts person? Yes, you are. Hey, my shorts are cool, right? You can stare at them. How have they made this kid even weirder than he was before? Calvin, that's him, yeah. How? Why have you got rid of the comfy and easy to wear? Why? That was good, that was. I, like, I kind of like that. But no, now, now we've got... Oh, do you know what? Stare at my legs. Jesus Christ. You're like, you're like five. God sake. You're five! You want to stare at your shorts! Well, okay, there's an obvious answer to that, but I ain't going into that. We've got some respect in this channel. Not much, I admit. But enough. Speaking of enough, we've had enough of that Spearow, and Marge grew to level 8. Getting up there, and Pudge up to level 10. And lost, lost, lost. Yes, indeed you did. Give me three Pokeballs. Hang on, did he have like a a, a, a a patch on his knee? Did they seriously... I don't know. I'm going to have to fight another one of these guys. But it looked like that there was a patch. Like, um... Like a plaster on his right knee. Anyway, we've got some potion. Three more Pokeballs, which is quite nice. It's, like they, it's nice they group them up now. Yeah, I gotta fight another youngster, because I think I just noticed that. I wanna double check and see if I was wrong, or maybe maybe it's a graphical glitch, who knows? Be interesting if it was. I'll battle you with a Pokemon I just caught. Well, okay, but they're not gonna be very good levels, I hope you know that. Uh Camper Victor has got himself a Nidoran male. Well, you're just being a bleeding copier, aren't you? Elvis! So, level 9 versus level 7. Okay, so according to that, you can get Nidoran Males here, which is fine. But, yeah, you got flinch. Yeah, you don't have headbutt, do you? I've got a headbutt, and I'm gonna flinch... I'm gonna flinch the crap out of you. I can't get poisoned. I'm a poison type, so that's fine. And I'm just gonna flinch hacks the crap out of you, and finish you off. Headbutt's a really good move at this point in the game. I'm shocked they give it to you this early. On oh, honest note, I mean, I said I think Rock Blast would have been better, but then again, it would I, it's understandable why it's not. You anyway, know, level 10 for Elvis, and we beat Camper Victor. Done like dinner. And you gave me two great balls. You still have yours. Uh, I'm not taking those. I don't want those. Got a patch of grass here. Weckins! That's a new Pokemon. Um, uh, I never actually use Ekans, because I always saw it as sort of, like, being pretty weak. I mean, hell, there are, like, four really good poison types in this game. And Ekans really isn't one of them. Or even, like, Arbok, it's evolved form. I mean, you've got... What the hell's going on there? 
There you go. Uh, but yeah, it's like you've got uh, the Nidorans. So you need a king and need a queen. Both really good. Uh, you've got uh, Muck. Muck is a really good uh, special defender, I think. You got Weezing, which is a good physical defender, and it's got and it can learn elemental moves. So like, if you want to go down that route, Ekins is always just the one left behind, really. I mean, yeah, it's better than bloody Beedrill and you know and stuff. But still, anyway, the older it gets, the longer it grows. At night, it wraps its body around a tree a tree branches to rest. Indeed. And Ekans has been tucked away. Well, there you go. We got ourselves a new Pokemon in Ekans. That's a Spearow. We don't want Spearow. Did you? Yes, I did push you. I'm pushing you into the Spearow so you can fight it. Or so you can catch it, so you can be actually a good, you can actually be a decent threat. Because at the moment, you've got an Eran female, and that's not a threat to Elvis. He's not, because while you don't have much that can hurt me, I've got a headbutt that can hurt you. So no, you're no threat to, you're no threat to the king! Not to the king, you're not! The king will rule over you! And then do random hip gyrations and die on the bog after eating cheeseburgers. Uh, Elvis is well. Nido King's ba Nido uh, Nido male. My name for it is based on Elvis Presley. If people didn't know. It's pretty bleeding obvious, I know. So if people didn't get that one, you're like probably about the same age as a fetus at this point. And anyway, speaking of speaking of um. Well, not, not speaking of anything, actually, but Leech Seed! We've got some lovely Leech Seed. We'll get rid of Growl, obviously. So, now we've got some renewable health on Snoop, which is nice. All is well. Picnic a Robin defeated. That's it. Indeed. You should have caught that bloody Spearow. But you didn't. That Spearow is actually after me. <laughs> Go away, mate! Ooh, lure! It's another lure. Okay. That's interesting. And another. Okay. Oh, there he is. Man, what's happened, mate? You 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 went a bit further back this time, didn't you? Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Wow, you're wearing shorts too. Oh, okay. They've added a bit to him. What's this guy? This this guy is like guy in legend. Not as much. Youngster Ben. Yeah, he's no youngster Joey. He does, doesn't he? I've just looked at his like right leg. He's got a, he's got like a plast, like a sticking plaster on it. Uh, I kind of like that attention to detail, but that means that all of these youngsters have had some bad knee damage recently. You know, it's like they've all fallen over and grazed their knee at the same time, and all went crying back to mummy. That's probably what's happened. Vesper has grown to level 8, and we defeat Youngster Ben. Yeah, that is definitely a sticking plaster. You may not believe it, but I do. Give me Pokeballs, and why are you wearing a Weedle shirt? I mean, fair enough, Weedle's awesome, but still. I'm not saying that because of this guy, either. There's a random stone here that is useless! Alright! Uh, Hello. Are you a trainer? Let's get to it right away. Okay. Smack you in the face now. Matey boy. Greg. Greg. You're right, Greg. You got yourself a useless shit that does nothing. I love Beedrill, but Kakuna and Weedle are... Well, Weedle's kind of cute. Oh, no, it's no. It is. Kakuna is crap. Beedrill's awesome to me. I was like, Beedrill, Beedrill was my favorite Pokemon growing up. Um, because I had an affinity for bees when I was younger. I know, weird, isn't it? But, I grew out of that. Beedrill's still one of my favorite Pokemon, but it's not my favorite. You know, there, there's, there's a fair few above him now at this point. If I had a new Pokemon, I would have won. Indeed you would. You, on the other hand, have not grazed your right knee. Nor your left knee, either, so fair play to you. Let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got another Ekans, a Pokeball... 
which has a revive in it, so that makes two. Now we can use them properly. Awesome. That's a Rattata. We don't want that. Oh. Spiro. We want that either. Get away from me, Ekins. But all, all that's here is just Rattatas and Ekins. Alright. We have a guy sitting on a rock. Whew, just taking a little rest here. The tunnel from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. Yes, I'm sure it does. How the bloody hell did you make it there? Oh, jeez, another coach trainer? Hello there, I'm a coach trainer, at your service. Do you want to train a bit before taking on Mount Moon? Uh, Sonic will do this battle, why not? You ready? Indeed I am. What's this guy got? Let me guess, please tell me there are... Okay, Oberon, have you got, like... Are there three of them about? One's got Bulbasaur, one's got Squirtle, and one's got Charmander. Calling it. No! Alright! Not predictable! I like these guys. He, he does, however, have a normal type Pokemon, which is gonna get kicked right in the mush. <coughs> Sneezing time! As we oh! Was that payday? It created me with payday. I am taking all of that Dosheru! Mate! The problem is Elvis is nearly dead, so we don't want the king to die just yet. So we're actually going to bring, bring Snoop in. Snoop's probably got the best chance of survival. I mean, this Meowth's level 13. It's a pretty strong Meowth. And you're just giving me money right now. That's all you're doing. You're just giving me money. But I will have a renewable way to beat him with a Leech Seed. As long as this doesn't crit. Which it doesn't. Good. Come on, Leech Seed! Yes! There we go! Here, Snoop! Have some health! Lots of health for him. And... Yeah, that's enough to survive another payday! Awesome. Vine Whip time! Yep, just give me money! Give me money! Cheers for- appreciate the bits, mate! Appreciate the bits! This is like like you like that 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 this this is uh, that that's that like one guy on like Twitch that you just don't expect just gives you like loads of money for no reason. You know? I mean I I do not do Twitch streams so I don't know but apparently it's usually either a a hoax or b Mr Beast it's, so it's one of those two. For payday. So we're going to bring Pudge in here, because Pudge does have Quick Attack, which is useful. Also, Snoop wouldn't survive another attack. But we're slowly whittling this Meowth down. This Meowth is a bit of a beast. It's fast. It's pretty good. It's got pretty good damage. I'm going to headbutt it in the face. Unless you crit me with a payday, that is. You don't. I'm actually able to survive another one as long as you don't uh, do that. Oh, I'm going to headbutt you. <laughs> You got headbutted by a pigeon. A pigeon headbutted you. Pigeon. Piggy on. Like your English. Just headbutted you. Caligar at level 12 as well, by the way. You won't have any trouble going through Mount Moon. Jesus Christ, mate. I had trouble with your Meowth. But cheers for the $309. Cheers for that, mate. That was a great battle. Take this. Thanks. Ooh. We got payday now. TM57. TM57 is the move Payday. It's a move that'll scatter money around that you can pick up later for a little extra pocket money. Let me guess. None of my Pokemon can learn it because it's Payday. Well, bar Callie for some reason. Callie can learn Payday? How? Callie? Okay. Tail Whip gone. Payday in! MONEY! That's all that matters here, just lots of money. Uh, it's lots of money. Okay, alright guys, well, I'm gonna go for a break here, but the next episode, let's play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Uh, we're gonna be going to the Pokemon Center, getting a certain Pokemon from the Pokemon Center, and moving on to Mount Moon. I'll see you then.